The diner's just up the waterfront. Shouldn't keep the sheriff and our witnesses waiting. I smell coffee. Oh, do you now, Casey? This is an impressively, impressively vibrant kind of town scene. I like it. I'm also going to change some options real fast. And hope this doesn't affect streaming too much. I'm going to go check something out. Be right back. Got it. Hi. Hello. Goodbye. Tuning in, you're listening to the Pat Main Radio Hour. Ah, Pat Main. It's me. I'm FBI. Oh, ho, ho, Pat, you know we did. The FBI is known for a few things and bring in rain. Can't is open one this of them. with my bare hands. Shortcut key? Oh. Some fun water. guy with his orange backpack doesn't want to chat so I'll just you know we'll just share a moment and that's enough of that all right doesn't seem like there's okay 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 uh, it doesn't seem like there's too much NPC interaction going on. Wait a minute. Is this by design? These park benches just get Welcome. flooded. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. I don't live by the water. Maybe that's a normal feature people have in their towns. Hi there. Hello. And goodbye. Let's talk to these dancing pig kids. <laughs> don't know, don't care. <laughs> how much do you have? Not enough. That's how much. Never enough coffee. Oh, Bittersweet nectar. Get it in coffee world. Get it where you can. Get it now. Jesus, Charlie. It is always good to have a spokesman that's really loves your product. I need something to cut this. Not to toot my own horn, but I toot am it, pretty baby. darn sure my, <laughs> I mean our float, will be the belle of the ball at this year's Deer Fest. Just a few more days. It's a nice looking float for sure. This is my first Deer Fest. Got coffee so on it. What to expect, really. It is the finest entertainment a town like ours has to offer. The happiest day of the year. Like Christmas, but better. I'll be back in a second. Roger. Oh, dear. Cute. Well, I guess Deerfest is known to bring way more happiness than Christmas in this town? Doesn't seem like it from the events of the first game. Take care. Okay, thanks. Let me Bro. guess. The FBI. <gasps> dumpster. Welcome to Bright Falls. It's nice to have you here. I got you both some coffee. Oh, it's Washington Fine. What's in the dumpster? Why are you here? What did you forget? Bright Falls map. Amazing. Okay, this place is... Wait a minute, were those speech bubbles on here? 
Conversation, new choices. Oh, that's fun. Who's directly behind me? These folks. Sheriff Breaker. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. I'm set for coffee. You know, I wouldn't say no to another. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. This is Agent Alex Casey. Tim Breaker. And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. Frankly, we could use the help. Wait a minute, is that... <gasps> it's that guy! Whose name I can't remember, but he was in Quantum Break. Oh, they just put him in a beard and a hat. Amazing. Your deputy said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them sound like suspects. Mulligan and Thornton are still on about that? No, no, the bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but you can decide for yourselves. They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll see what they have to say. Casey, you compare notes with the sheriff. Take your time. One thing I really appreciate that Remedy you Games does the case files you sent over, Sheriff. Is they photo that scan their actors the and digitize them? Go missing? Sure. And but then they put them in. I think it's really cool. Lake was fenced off. Let me guess. Missing person cases spiked around 2010. The fence was built just after. Yeah, that's exactly right. Hmm. Oh, you can I'm go ahead, sorry. Anderson. We'll be here. Stop talking because I got close. Are you talking about me? Rude. This is other conversation. Can I mark this on the map? I can and not. It's got to be whoever's inside here. I can't believe that happened. I still feel like I'm going to be sick. Come on, Ed. Have some pie. Don't take your mind off things. Hey, how are you doing? Who? Who said that? This is exactly why I hate small towns. Down or out. You know how touchy these rural types can be. Oh, wow. Ah. Wow. Jukebox is out of order. The poor old thing can only take so much of the same song being played over and over. <laughs> I'm as big a fan of Coconut as the next person, but come on! I was hoping to play that song. Just uh, relive the old hits. From the first game. Alright, I guess I'll just talk to you, uh, you two here. Excuse me. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. Are you the bookers? That's us. I'm Tammy, and he's Ed. Hello, officer. Just Saga is fine, Ed. So, are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take a bath, screw into pillows, that kind of thing. We're not charging you. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about, okay? Did you or did you not leave a naked old man to run through the forest alone? What were you doing at Colgen Lake last night? I'm a writer. True crime. We're here from New York, doing some research on a famous novelist, Alan Wake, who went missing here. I was down at the lake, getting some details. Perfectly legal. So what did you see in the woods? This naked dude came out of the lake, and he was acting crazy. Shouting weird shit at us. Uh, he was bubbling. He must at have best. been on something. Unless skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. Then we heard shooting. We ran into these psychos in deer masks. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives, like some kind of satanic cult. And then we bolted and called the cops. Why do you think it was a cult? Because they were wearing masks <laughs> and murdering a dude. Oh, that's very cult-like behavior. What makes you say it was a cult? <laughs> the masks and knives aren't enough. She gets it. I mean, they were shouting, cult of the tree, the cult of the tree, cult of the tree. Oh, and then we found a, a 
whole thing was terrifying. That's all. Ed? Ed, there's a little more. Let me just stand here awkwardly as I mine the palace. The cult of the tree. What are the bookers telling me? I found their necklace. The symbol is two triangles. The cult wants their spruce tree bag, Tammy. Finders keepers, Ed. My publisher will want this on the cover. Tammy found something. A necklace belonging to one of the cultists. The Bookers were at Cauldron Lake. Why? This was built to hide what's there. They say the rider fell in the lake. Private party. No trespassing. My book has questions. Past the bolt cutters. They broke in for the sake of Tammy's book. Nothing to do with a murder. They were telling the truth. Okay. Um, I think that's it. Oh, I do. I think you found something. So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. How did you put that together? It's evidence. You need to hand it over. Okay. Okay. I told you not to keep that thing to me. Throwing her under the bus while the agent's there. Ed. Thanks. This could prove to be helpful. Do me a favor. Stick around town for now in case we have any more questions. <laughs> like we'd even dream of missing dear fellow. Oh, God. Saga! Saga Anderson. As I live and breathe. I thought we'd never see you back here after that awful awful thing happened to your baby girl how what? are you what happened um i'm sorry who are you i don't know what you're talking about it's me silly rose you know me from the first i don't game, think i do i think and what horrible thing happened to my baby girl she drowned your daughter that's so weird, you don't remember. How do you know I have a daughter? Oh, I know what this is. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. Happens on TV all the time. No. What a thing to say to a person. You're mistaking me for someone else. <laughs> if you say so. Just treat the drowning of your daughter so lightly. Hmm. Hi. Hi, who's saying these things? You know what? Doesn't matter. Mind place. Nope. Goals. Case board. Oh, I forgot I can't run in here. Tearing into the guys with knives. Murder nope. method. Oh, what? Killer profile? We're dealing with an organized group of killers, not a lone serial killer. Boo -doo -boo -doo. Moving on. Sorry, folks. I gotta go look at a dead awesome. body. My guys have Nightingale at the morgue, if you're ready to go take a look. Let's go. Well, Casey, I got a lead. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. A murder cult. Fuck. Have you heard of this kind. cult of the tree, Sheriff? Only the urban legend. If you're in the Good woods job, at night, the cult will get you. That sort of thing. We're not gonna find out you're the Grand Wizard or something. 
Are we? I played some D&D back in the day. Yeah. The wizard was always my favorite class. Morning, yeah. Sir. Looks like you have some guests. Ah, uh, morning, Ted. Yeah, real important guests. Deerfest. Always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> Too true. More the merrier. Have a good one, Sheriff. Hey, what do you know about that waitress from the diner? <laughs> Rose? Yeah, she's a bit of a space case. And always has been. Why? What'd she do now? She kept saying that my daughter drowned. She even knew my name. It was all very weird. Rose has a talent for saying the weirdest thing possible. But it's best not to take it personally. Hey, boss. Corpse is downstairs, ready to go. Yep, in the morgue, all prepped. I'd like to take a closer look as soon as possible. Lead the way, Sheriff. Ooh, a double door service. Oh, this is the Bright Falls Sheriff Station. Anything you need, just uh, let us know. We appreciate the support, Sheriff. Have a nice day. I will take some of those fancy blue gloves, Agent. a coffee, and I want to talk to this guy. Uh, As you me. know, the investigation is being taken over by the federal agents. That's me. Sheriff Breaker wants us to cooperate fully. Please do. Aye, ma'am. I'm being serious, Nelson. Sorry, folks. Just having trouble sitting. Just having trouble with the chair situation. I think they make them differently here in the country. Yeah. I don't know about you folks. But I don't care all for all these gruesome murders and, and whatnot right here in our whole woods. little town. It's, only it's had not a tour what I signed up for. This line of work is not for the faint of heart. Faint of heart. Oh, no. It's this. A bear. Help. <laughs> Amazing. Ah! Love Did it. somebody call for a tour guide? Oh, wow. Koskala Brothers Adventure Tours. Unforgettable tour experiences at affordable prices. That's right. I'm Ilmo Koskala, voted best coffee roaster slash tour guide by Coffee World Magazine. And I'm here to give you a tour of a lifetime. But Ilmo, I've heard the government has seized and restricted access to many local nature attractions. That is true, Yako. Many local attractions have recently become fenced off by the government. And that's why at Koskala Brothers Adventure Tours, we say, fuck the government. <laughs> we have bolt cutters. Oh, wow. Oh. You think of everything. And we'll take you <laughs> anywhere. Hiking through the scenic Elderwood National Park. Fishing in the crystal clear waters of Bright Falls Dam. Bird watching at Majestic Mirror Peak. <laughs> a tour of a lifetime is just one phone call away. Book now to get a 9% discount on this limited edition Oh Dear Diner Coffee Thermos. That was a masterpiece. Oh, kudos to whatever team put that together. <laughs> oh, I look forward to more of those types of commercials. So we share a morgue with the funeral home next door. It's a shoestring budget. I guess you guys don't have that problem, though. Our only coroner rotates between a few other towns, and he's away this week. But you can handle this, right? I'm qualified to perform examinations. Yes. Something about morgues. They always cheer me up. I can't say I feel the same. They would, Casey. They would. Ugh, not having a mouse when this menu comes up is... Well, not having the cursor, I should say. It's wigging me out, man. Oh. Interesting. 
interesting. Yeah, batteries. Oh, what are you? Uh, thing? Hold on, control? That's it. Trauma pad. A good amount of health. Awesome. Okay, now let's get to it. Oh, jeez. You came out of nowhere. Lady. I can't force it open. Not with all these witnesses. Okay. Let's take a look at our patient. I'll start with the external inspection before performing the internal examination. That was a... Right up the North Pole look. Sorry about that, everyone. Also, sorry to me. Uh. What, nothing in there? Hm. Can't be opened on this side. Mm. Alright, what do y'all say we cut up a body even more? Look for clues. What was the cause of death? What other- This looks like text. A tattoo? Nightingale didn't strike me as a tattoo guy. A poor tattoo job. Defensive wounds. He put up a fight. The body shows signs of being submerged in water post-mortem. It doesn't huh. add up. It does not. There's writing on here. Can't oh. make it out. Writing? How'd they manage that? Interesting feature. Uh -huh. They did leave something inside his uh -huh. chest. But what is it? Mind place. Uh, what do we got? Case closed. What case is closed? Oh. The cold of the tree is behind these murders. This case just became much more complicated. I'll need to start a new file. But it's my first cult case. Exciting. Exciting indeed. Okay. Cases. Murdered culture in the lake. Time to see what Nightingale's body can tell us. Yes. Chest ripped open, something visible inside. But what is it? That's it. Looks like something was put in there. Uh, but we don't know what yet. Nope. Nope. Burp. Illegible words on heart. Oh. I was looking forward to seeing what it was. No. Loading of joints indicates long-term water exposure. Timeline is inconsistent with bloating, which we saw from other cases. <laughs> Defensive wounds. Chest wound is cause of death, but the corpse is bloated, waterlogged. Doesn't add up. Smudged text. Ritual right. There's definitely something in his chest. Did the killers leave it there? Time to go chest diving. Cause of bloating unknown, strange tattoos on skin and heart. Something was inserted into the chest cavity. Tattoos on body and heart. How did killers have time? Doesn't make sense. What else we got here? Cult of the Tree, our new case file. I need to know more about the code of the tree if I'm going to shut them down. I'm curious if the game will railroad me into solving all open cases. What kind of cult? A murder cult. Who 
who's involved. Murderers. Cult goal. <laughs> hmm. It's right. Probably not the goal. This looks like an overarching thing. What kind of cult? Uh, one that wears necklaces. One that yeah. wears... Mm, the masky kind of cult? Jewelry can be jewelry can be used as a subtle indicator of membership, but this isn't subtle. A badge of pride. If they're hiding their faces, they aren't established enough to operate openly. Connection to Deerfest. Hmm. What is your purpose? What's the purpose? Marking territory? A warning? Feels derivative, like something out of a horror movie. Oh. <laughs> Or a game. What else we got here? Cult stashes. I guess we'll toss this on the board. These stashes could contain clues about the cult. Better keep an eye out for more. I'm personally hoping for ammo and weapon upgrades. Yes. Lunch boxes. Okay. Chest diving. Here we go. Oh, that's just a full frontal. Again, fun to edit out. Gloves, huh? It's the same type of page we found at Cauldron Lake. Nightingale hunted Saga. Didn't see her. The Taken could not see into bright light. Light hurt them, made them vulnerable. Nightingale had no heart, but here he was. Killing. Someone's created a fucked up fantasy about us. Hey, hold on. We found these kinds of pages. I didn't think they were relevant to this case. I have them right here. Audio's off again. Or maybe the subtitles, I should say, are off. Try to stay in the light to avoid being detected by enemies. He's coming. Need to be in the light. Oh. Little cat and mouse. He can't see me in the light. 
KC and whatnot. Can I My not? gun's out in the hall. Gotta get it back. Can I not aim out here? Where's KC? Safe haven is restore some of your health. If you leave or attack from a safe haven while in combat, it will become temporarily unavailable. Oh. Okay. Gotta move. Though. Now. I didn't see where he went. There he is. This way, I suppose. Doo -doo -doo. Tutorial baddie. Ooh, things are gonna pick up now. Oh, yeah, chapter music. Okay, we're back. He didn't have a heart, but he still got up. The page predicted all of it. Casey's it still alive. Him. Oh, oh, oh. He, he just disappeared. What the hell is going on here? We need to figure that out if we're going to do anything about it. Somehow we need to make sense of this. Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult. A ritual. The overlap. Saga would learn how. Stop the monster. There's no rational explanation to what we just saw. I'd love to blame this on mass hallucination caused by inhaling volcanic gas, but we both know that's bullshit. This was supernatural. Well, I'm glad you were the one to say it. Now we can figure out a way forward. Right what before things got to crazy, sheriff? sheriff Breaker just vanished. Maybe the sheriff knew more than he was letting on. Hmm. He seemed anxious, like he dreaded what was coming. One more mystery. The victim of a ritualistic murder turns into a monster. Coincidence. Is there a connection? I Looks to think me not. like the cult of the tree is performing rituals to create monsters. Hmm, maybe. We need to start with learning this cult's goal, their purpose. I'm gonna start by looking to see what I can loot. It's so dark in here. Four officers of the law went down. Only two. how that's gonna be received by the folk upstairs still locked 
Okay, here we go. Mine place. Case board. Cases. A dead man turned into a monster. Light as a way to fight him. Pages predicting the future. There's no rational explanation. This is the case we must solve. <laughs> Where did our naked little monster go? <laughs> The overlap? What? These pages aren't making sense. Not until we get the whole book? Manuscript? And he's a taken? Alright, what else we got? Cult of the tree. For later. Cult gull? Make monsters. Okay, okay, okay. Cover writing, page side, page. Hmm. ritual. And Gil was the only victim to become a monster. Casey, cult of the trees, performing rituals to create monsters. Nope. Hmm. 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 Cult goal. I'm gonna have an explanation for this. How are they doing this? What the hell is going on here? Uh, let's see. I haven't quite figured out when to know a new profiling thing is available. It's probably when the screen does that little boom thing. A little bit of distortion around the edges. Whoa, you guys know what I'm talking about. Okay, let's go back to Cauldron the page Lake. places Nightingale back at Cauldron Lake. Calls him a Taken. We need to head over there, stop him, before anyone else gets hurt. Okay. Just casually walk on out of here. We we heard gunshots, y'all okay? Did you get spooked by the bodies? Sheriff Breaker disappeared. Nightingale question. turned into some sort of a monster and there are offices down. You two handle things here. We need to get back to Cauldron Lake immediately. Fuck me. That's terrible. We'll do what we can, ma'am. Please do. Also, did you know Pam? Pam here is dead. We'll just leave her. Also, which one is Pam's locker? I uh, don't think she's going to be needing That's anything. Crazy, here. I thought Nightingale's heart was missing. How could he do anything? He's dead. Yeah, right. Well, that's all crazy talk. Monsters aren't real, and what do you mean the the sheriff disappeared? Like poof? He's gone like magic? Magic's not real. Magic's not real. Right? Mulligan? No, Thorn. Monsters aren't real, and magic's definitely not real. <laughs> Knew that. <laughs> yeah, they're just gonna leave her there. Okay. Off we go. Nope. Oh. What is going? What is going on? I don't have the key. Oh, <laughs> that's because I went the wrong way. Up more stairs. Mm, they're a fine pair. That phone calls for Pam. She won't be taking any today. Please leave her a note. Ooh, 
Oh, jeez. <laughs> what are you doing in here? <laughs> I did not mean to bust in like that. My client has been held here long enough. Oh, are you going to let client? me speak to them or not? Uh, just a moment, ma'am. Someone will be right with you. I'm here. I'm someone. I am here. Backstory, please. I'm ready for it. Kill the Joe, make some mo. It's the third time this week I came in for late shift and there is no coffee in the machine. You take the last cup, you brew a new batch. Yeah. You tell him, Sheriff Station Admin. Chet, I hate to break it to you, but you need to have a face capable of growing a beard to make effective use of beard oil. I'm confused at oh R E R E R E. Let's start at the let's start at the first email. Since my numerous friendly reminders about not having personal packages delivered to the station have gone unheeded from here on out, if you've seen fit to send something to the station, I will see fit to announce to the station what you have received. Is it a federal offense to open someone's mail? Yes, it is. Is it a personal offense that I need to share my desk space with your late night impulse buys? Yes, it is. You've been warned. Admin. P.S. Officer Lightfoot, your beard oil is ready for pickup. Oh, wow. What a shot. Consequences in the same email as the warning doesn't even give people time. Typical admin behavior. I knew Marco's beard was too soft to be natural. What brand is he lo using, Lucy? Chad, I hate to break it to you, but you need to have a face capable of growing a beard to make effective use of beard oil. Wow. Shots fired in email form. Reminder, the front desk computer and admin email are not to be used for personal quarrels or other unofficial business, such as opening and announcing other people's mail. And remember to wash your coffee mugs. Hey gang, the annual event you've all been eagerly awaiting is upon us again. The Community Outreach Barbecue! Now I don't want to hear any grumbling. This is a valuable opportunity to connect with the community. Statistics show that officers who are well integrated with the communities they serve see lower instances of violent crime in their precincts, are more effective in their policing, and have overall better mental wellness. This is for your benefit, so take it seriously. The community voted dunk tank victim this year will be, drum roll please, Deputy Thornton! Congratulations! Looks like everyone's getting retribution for that speed trap on 12C at last, huh? Friendly reminder that anyone out sick on the day needs to provide a written doctor's note or you'll be assigned night shift for two weeks. Seems like a stiff fine. Anyone who replies all to complain about their assignment will be volunteering as the assistant for Officer Lightfoot's magic routine, Tim. Wow, this precinct's got a lot of uh, aggression going on. Map. They have maps of each building, it looks like. Interesting. Container in the evidence room that I missed. OMG, OMG. Let's just check the bathroom. I know one of you is stealing the toilet paper. I've been counting them, and there's an entire roll missing every day from stock. Theft is taken seriously around here. At the police station. It's a sheriff's station, for Pete's sake. Oh. One of these days, I'm going to catch you red-handed, and you better believe you're getting thrown out. What a disgrace you are. What kind of nut counts toilet paper rolls? Sounds like you've got too much time on your hands. Oh, that's exactly what someone who steals toilet paper rolls would say. Classic deflection. 
can't there. force it open. I'll go there now. How many times do we have to do this, Walter? Huh? How many Remember times? Which end with you? How many times, Walter? Do you think I like throwing you in jail every other day? No, I don't. Do you have any idea how much paperwork you're causing me? What's well, a lot? And while I'm here, I gotta use the company toilet paper. You can sit here and stew for a while. Think about your life choices, buddy. Yeah. Is it really worth this? I want out. This guy would Something have a lawyer. going down. I can feel it. Let me out. Maybe not. Who's got the lawyer? I want to know. Oh, mysterious figure with a baseball hat turned around. You might have a lawyer. I guess I'll find out later. Sorry, Casey. I got a box to find. And back to the murder scene. I guess not quite the murder scene. Yeah, this is what I'm looking for. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, please. Is there another thing? Nope. Okay, door closed. What was that other icon? I guess nothing. Doo -ba -doo. All right, let's go track down a naked murder man monster. Classic FBI behavior. Nightingale and his cult are dangerous. We need to be prepared in case things escalate more than they already have. Can you call it in, Casey? A smart choice, Anderson. Yeah, a Agent Casey here. Yeah. We need backup. The Bright Falls case. Whoever you can spare. ASAP. Are you lost the citizen? Nightingale at the lake? The pages haven't been wrong yet. We can't assume the person writing these pages isn't playing us. I agree. But it's our best lead. Hate to tell you, ma'am. That telephone pole does not hide you. Do, 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 do. Elderwood Palace Lodge, where history meets hospitality. Uh, rinse and repeat. Clock out, get a beer. What a life. What a life. All right, here we go. I need to come clean, Anderson. I know why Nightingale was here 13 years ago. He was chasing a writer, Alan Wake. <gasps> Tell me, mentioned him. The name of the game. She's writing a book on his disappearance. You know the detective character from his books, Alex, Casey. Yeah, I've heard the jokes at the office. Cold case Casey. Murder case Casey. <laughs> Sorry. Ha uh ha. -huh. the same name, similar job. It's the first thing anyone thinks of. It annoyed me, but that was it. Then, ten years ago, I started getting strange letters in the mail. Fragments of prose describing murders you've heard the stories about what happened in new york some of it at least bodies started to pile up it was a murder cult turns out the fragments sent to me were from the crime books of alan wake the cult was copycatting the murders from the books in their heads they were performing a ritual to bring wake back their imagined prophet after that case, I started looking into Wake's disappearance on the side. And you thought this case might be connected to him? 
His name does keep popping up. I just wanted you to have all the facts. Next time, give them to me before we find ourselves in the middle of a horror story. Yes, Casey. Before. The page says Nightingale's in something called an overlap. Need to figure out exactly what that means. I'm happy I'm not in charge of this mess. Thanks. Let's start looking for Nightingale where he was killed. Great. Let me ride it, this baby. This area is supposed to be close to the public. Oh, yeah, I can draw my gun now. Sweet. Okay, I'm in the same place we started. Going down this way. Here we go. The writer of these pages knows what will happen. Because they're behind this? Or because they can see what's coming? Impossible things are happening here. A world operating on different rules. I need to understand this strange logic. To see the clues. To solve the case. She adjusted her worldview impressively quickly. Good for her. Ooh, sunset. Look at those red leaves. Purdy. <laughs> <Whoa. gasps> I've been thinking more about the cult of the tree. What sort of cult refers to themselves as a cult? In my experience, they don't. The Self-aware kind. We're not seeing the full picture yet. Excuse me, sirs. Hey, hello there. How are you folks doing? Those restricted area signs don't do a damn thing, huh? Oh, you're from the commercial. You famous. Hello. Saga Anderson. Are you two supposed to be here? I'm Ilmo Koskela. Fantastic to meet you. And yes, Stephen here hired me to show him through the woods. He's in town on important government business. Fixing this impressive piece of hardware. I work for the FBC, ma'am. I'm authorized to be here. And I bet you two are here about that murder. Nasty stuff. How's it going? How did you hear about the murder, Ilmo? Do you know anything that could help us? People tend to tell me things. The Koskala brothers are kind of a household name around here. Speaking of, uh, if you're looking for some fun, stop by Watery. Just down the road from Bright Falls, there's our Coffee World Amusement Park. There's sauna, sauna ya vista. <laughs> and we offer a variety of guided tours, hunting, fishing, hiking, whatever strikes your fancy. You name it, we probably got it. Hey, Casey, you're an outdoorsy kind of guy. You were telling me earlier. What is this thing? It's just a monitoring station, ma'am. The Federal Bureau of Control checks volcanic activity and air toxicity levels. No need to worry, though. It's mostly for research purposes. That's one gorgeous wetter saga. <laughs> Looks Nordic. I bet a family member made it. Mm -hmm. I don't want to talk to you necessarily. Stephen, we're investigating a murder that occurred nearby. What can you tell me about your bureau? Nothing that isn't classified, I'm afraid. But I don't know anything about a murder. The operations here are run by a different department. I'm just here to make some repairs. The wiring on this thing frays every couple months. Yep, that's the raccoons. They grow real big here with teeth like you wouldn't believe. Can not run through a garbage can. What kind of garbage can? What are we talking? Mini? Large size? Slightly flexible? Metal? My mother made this sweater for me. How do you know? I knew it. My mom used to knit those sweaters for me and my brother. Watery, my hometown, was founded by Finnish immigrants. 
So between your name and the sweater, I figured your family might be from Finland too. Suomi, Finland. Hulla, Karjalan piirakka. <laughs> Klaus, my mom's family is from Sweden originally. I don't know much about them beyond that. The sweater is just something to remember her by. Well, I need to get back to it. Sorry, we couldn't relate more. Well, what's what inside there, Steven? What is it? Steven? Steven, what is it? Memo. Maintenance note. Clear signs of tampering. Signal was rerouted into a transmitter that is not one of ours. I fixed it so any alerts will come our way, but it's definitely concerning. Uh, definitely concerning. I'll make a report for the investigations department. Leaving this here in case I'm not... Oh, in case I'm not the next person to fix this thing. To fix this things. If you're reading this, check for tampering. We may want to put more secure metal casing around the whole thing so that raccoons can't get to it anymore. Stephen Lin, Chief Technician. Let's get to the murder site, Casey. Yeah, Casey. Let's go. Enough sightseeing, huh? A lot of things about this case keep bothering me. But one thing feels really off. Breaker's disappearance. I don't get the feeling Nightingale was responsible. Hmm. He was about to give you more of those pages. Something didn't want us to have them? Or was protecting him from Nightingale? Spontaneous combustion? I don't know. I... Not the kind of disappearance we normally solved. Mm -hmm. FBC would be all over it, though. Our crime scene's drowning. I never minded rain. Feels like home. No sign of Nightingale. But the page did place him at Cauldron Lake. In an overlap. So how do we follow him there? Maybe... Something around here will tell us. Maybe indeed. Search icons that disappeared. There we go. Ooh, bare feet. Bare feet. Nightingale. I'll see where these footprints lead. Can you come through the crime scene one more time, KC? Just in case. On it. If anything comes up, I'll radio you. We've seen this symbol before. Hmm. Good eye. About this ritual stuff. Monsters, overlaps, rituals. What do you make of all of this? Hmm. The killers are usually the ones performing the ritual, not the detective. Acting out their sick fantasy. They may be trying to get you involved, forcing you into their twisted world. But with dead men coming alive, the word ritual starts to have more weight behind it. We need to look around, learn what this ritual is. Want to donate a heart, Casey? After we find Nightingale, what then? I've never arrested a monster. I've watched you arrest plenty of monsters, Anderson. You know what I mean. Monster monsters. <laughs> Light worked against him at the morgue. That might be the only way to stop him from hurting anyone else. Hope you brought your flashlight, Alex. Check the old map a map. Is that inside the general store? Can't go left. Right is the FPC buzzer, which I guess I've been to. No, station. FPC buzzer. I wonder if that's a gate. Totally is. Oh, the buzzer. That's right. Any 
different audio. Does not seem so. Oh, this place again. Just a quick run around. Oh man, if something chases me through here, I'm gonna be so lost. I'm already lost. Hey, there you are. Where am I going? Follow Nightingale's trail. It's like tracking Bigfoot. He goes this way. Hey, Casey. What's up here? What's the forest's favorite shape? Please, Anderson. Just one case without the rent. A triangle. I don't get it. Yes, you do. <laughs> oh. Who's been hanging out here? Cultists, maybe? Monday, some suspicious activity spotted. The fielder thought he saw movement in the bushes. Footprints around the area were found, but some were compromised by the fielder. Note to self, train the fielder. Tuesday, nothing to report. Some animals regular. Wednesday, hunters out after dark. Poachers, heard some gunshots. Not one of ours. Gotta keep an eye on those people. They could get more than they bargained for out here. Okay, okay. Where am I on the map? Okay, found my way around. I am taking quite the detour. Gonna stop doing that. Go follow some footprints. I'm getting flashbacks. Remember Ohio? Sure. The North Side Slasher. But that case was completely different. The trees, Anderson. He hid the bodies in the forest. Back to footprints. track good. I do. That's what I tell myself. Here we go. The tracks lead into the water. Where'd you go from here? Back from whence he came. The creature of the deep. Oh, geez. I can feel something. A presence. Not e oh, see here? They're tricking me. They give me new things. Let's put me into the mine place. And then I'm gonna get attacked. Ritual. Do, do, 
do, what is this? Triangle carving. Symbols, which is up here. Two more. I don't think it's a symbol. Psychology, perhaps. A lot of equipment just laying around. How long have they been out here? Cases. What do we got? Footprints leading into the forest. Uh, uh, there we go. Alright, Nightingale. Let's have ourselves a little showdown, shall we? Maybe it'll be with the sheriff. Funnels me around. Tension's picking up. Which is ladle. I've read this already. What is that? Seems like it's reacting to the light. We're gonna go through the tree after I... These aren't the same tracks that were here before. Check this. They're headed into the tree, not out of it. A flashlight boost. Increased damage to darkness and burn through dark substance. Oh, and I now have a battery meter. My flashlight burned the dark stuff away. It was covering another page. The fuse was in place. Saga stepped into the witch's hut. Inside, a bright light. There were objects that stood out to Saga, as if the light had manifested them. The witch's hut. Okay. I trust the pages to lead me to the overlap. Witch's hut is from here, up the path to the left. Path to the left. Spooky music begins again. This is the witch's hut. Anderson, I saw something in the woods. Probably just a deer, but I'm gonna check it out. Okay. I found another page. Following up on a lead. Keep checking in. Roger. The fuse box is missing a fuse. I need to find one to turn on the lights. This fuse is busted. Oh. That's what happens when you leave it out in the rain. Oh, I can do this thing now. Nothing. Nothing. I guess it's not like Resident Evil 4. Okay, read this. The this one looks good. People should really stop littering, though. It's organized in a bin. Is it still littering? Maybe. Fuse. Okay. Light turns on. The break room is a place where you can save your progress. Okay. Another page. Making progress. Oh, you save at the thermos. Okay. Interesting. The image of the witch in the sign. Saga addressed the witch. The smudged line on the heart. The second part recited from memory. 
I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. Saga pushed the heart through the hole in the sign. Whoa. What a, what a phrase to say. All right, and here is where I got to call it for this session. Okay, and we are back. I had to stop for the night last time. And I'm, I feel like a boss fight is coming up, so I'm pretty stoked about this. We're about to, to get to Nightingale. I'll work the next steps out on the case board. Oh, okay. Let's immediately stop the action and go to the case board. Here we go. Don't need to go over all this again. You're right. Actually, I do, because I don't remember anything. Oh, the fuse. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Bright light. The page from okay. the witch's hut seems to be describing some kind of ritual. What is the ritual? I'm going to assume it's these two things. No, there we go. That's what I thought at first. To get into I... the overlap, I need to find Nightingale's heart. Trinity. Read the line imprinted on it, plus the line on the page to the witch's ladle sign. Then push the heart through the hole in the sign. Nightingale's heart disappeared from the morgue. Where is it now? Mm. Oh, that was kind of nice that they just speed you on over the profiling table. I need Nightingale's heart to get to the overlap. Where is it? The cultist leaned close. He was there, but he was risen. Nightingale was there. The opposite of sunspots. Who said that? That's not it. I don't have what I need to find Nightingale's heart. There must be more. I know Nightingale is somewhere around Cauldron Lake. The tree was a threshold. This place and the dark place. <laughs> You're in over your head. Next stop, Caldera Street Station. The threshold, like a doorway, leading to Nightingale. It's somehow connected to a tree, which is ladle. It's a little bit jarring, I think, to me that she's like communing with the planar entities over here or the darkness, getting it whispered in her head, and then she comes back and just has some kind of wisdom to impart. Maybe I'll get more used to it as the game goes on. Nightingale's heart. Where is it? Meanwhile, they played cards in the general store. The witch had stolen his heart. Get out of my house. Nightingale's heart is at the general store, in a fridge. Oh, I was there earlier. I need to check the general store for the heart. Let me... You know what? I don't have to do that now. I'll put that little profile on the case board later. Oh, where am I going? General store? Which is from here down the hill, I think. To the, uh, to the right. Hold on. Hold on now. Going down the shortcut. Need to go down the trail. I haven't figured out yet. Okay, it doesn't look like having the flashlight out drains the juice, which is good. Only when I boost it. Okay, if I remember. 
remember correctly, if I attack from a safe point, then I lose it. It turns off for a little bit. So I don't want to do that. And this music's telling me I'm going to be fighting something soon. Here. Man, I almost shot you. And I wonder if I could have. Oh! Fudge nuggets. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. Flashlight boost burn through the darkness. And then shoot him. Sir, Lady Fortana at the counter. Okay, and this is a normal number lock set, so it shouldn't take me as long <laughs> as that symbol one. It's probably the heart. This looks like a page, which I bet I should have picked up after. Oh, never mind. And use groups. Saga edged toward the broken door, her gun ready. Flashlight aimed ahead. Nightingale said it would be here. The Cauldron Lake General Store was overgrown, left to rot. Saga thought about the cult of the tree. They had been here, waiting, planning a gruesome ritual murder. Meanwhile, they played cards in the general store, like it was just another late-night poker game. Saga stepped closer to the door. Had the animal broken it? There was a loud crash. Saga found herself face to face with a cultist, a hulking figure in a raincoat. We watch in the night, which is totally what I didn't hear him say because I was <laughs> too concerned with dying. So I'm glad they recapped that. Wild eyes behind a plastic deer mask, an axe in his raised hand. Oh, I'm here? Okay, that's where that is. Let's open this to get. There's something in there. I see you in there. Please give me. Give me, give me. How do I crouch? Can I crouch? X. Z. V? It was there, it was there, the button, the button prompt. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, uh, B? Let's crouch. Controls. Forward, left, back, right, sprint, dodge. Toggle map. Wow, is there no crouch? How did this go in game testing? Is everyone always able to get it? Dodge, sprint, right, right, left. Hmm. 
Why can't I get it? Why am I so unlucky? <gasps> there we go. <laughs> oh, that was oh, maybe the most difficult item to get in the game. Open this. I thought the heart was in there. I was incorrect. I'll be back for you. Hopefully I don't get attacked by something else while I'm out here. Lady Fortuna. Seven oh five, seven thirteen, seven seventeen, seven twenty three. Don't forget, update the code. Lotto Washington. Five thirteen seventeen. That is way more numbers than I need. Oh, all four of those are incorrect. So what's the pattern? I'll start with seven. Um, I assume all these numbers on this page. Seven. O, 5, so we start at 7, we take the first two numbers, start at 7, take the second two numbers, it looks like, start at 7, take the third, and then the fourth, and the fifth set of numbers should be 7, 3, 9. Give me that shotgun! Seven. Three, nine, yeah. <laughs> That's right, bring it. Oh, I'm excited. A shotgun. Well, thank you. I will quick slot this to be a numero one. Let's see how this plays. One, one. Yeah, that feels okay to me. Oh, I keep forgetting to hold it. Oh. What a waste. Can't run in here. Must saunter. Okay, pursues Saga at the general store. For grown, you have to die. Face to face with the cultist. Uh huh. Safe haven. Was it a profile? It was the profile. I need Nightingale's heart to get to the overlap. Where is it? Close. He was there, but he was risen. Nightingale was there. The opposite of sunspots. Dark spots. Said that. That's not it. I don't have what I need to find Nightingale's heart. There must be more. Okay. Nightingale's heart. Where is it? Meanwhile, they played cards in the general store. Mm -hmm. The witch had stolen his heart. Mm -hmm. Get out of my house. 
Nightingale's heart is at the general store, in a fridge. Do we need to go back to the witch's hut? That seems like a little much. Okay, well I don't love wasting batteries, so I'm just going to come out here. Don't think I'm done here yet. I don't think you are either, however... Flashlight doesn't seem to be doing much. I think I read this already. Sure did. All right, last try. Are you freaking kidding me? Get out of here. Ugh, what a waste. What a waste of batteries that was. Ugh. Yeah, give it to me. Is there anything else in here? The text on the heart is clearer now. Legible. We've crashed on the far side of the mirror. Okay, neat. Can I take the heart? I guess I'll go here. Okay, where's the heart? Uh, oh, I didn't read this top. A little question. Sounds literary, but what does it mean? I brought you the heart, which show me the terror. Okay, where is the heart? Somewhere in the general store. Okay, no more cases. Let's what trigger cutscene escape. I feel like I recognize this. The fridge, the heart. I knew it would be here, like I saw it in a dream. And now I need to give the heart to the witch. Makes total sense. Julie. Go shove a Casey, real heart through that there are hole. in the area. They're taken, like Nightingale. Watch yourself out there. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. I'm still finding my way back. You have the worst sense of direction. <laughs> Any city in America I can get through drunk and blindfolded. It's these damn trees. Okay, okay. Damn you to trees. I need to perform a ritual to open the overlap. This case just keeps getting weirder. But it is exciting. Which sign? Straight forward and around the bend. There's gonna be some taken in here. Oh, that's right, dodging! Ha <laughs> ha! Screw you, dude! Oh, shoot! Oh my god, I forgot about dodging already. 
Oh, he was one shot away Good from job, death. Sarah. Now keep moving. And I let myself get hit twice. Story of my life, actually. So close, and yet just not quite there. That's me. I don't think I heal in here. I don't think I can save. Nope. Okay. I can't believe I forgot about dodging immediately after they told me about it. Okay. Here we go. Just this heart that I'm carrying around. Stare into those eyes. Overlap. Are you still on your way? Casey! Abrupt Casey, do you need audio. me? Fuck. Okay, Saga. Going in solo. I've now entered Nega Bright Falls. Logan? Logan! Where are you? What the fuck was that? Logan's back in Virginia. You're imagining things. Poor form to bring a kid into it. Poor form, Peter. Is this a dead end or is it a... Pathway. Oh, does it... Lake. I am in the overlap, all scratched out. I need to find a map. Now that looks like where I need to go, so I want to go the opposite direction. Although, the audio kind of pointed me this way, maybe. I want to try to find that hidden loot that developers usually put off the beaten path. Set design, though, like the level design, is on point. So great. Oh, now I spun the camera around too much. Where am I? Where's that tree? Tree! Envelop me! Okay, checkpoint. Meaning I might die here. What was that? Wait. Did I get turned around? No, this is right. This place is looping. Like a nightmare. Okay, how much battery am I gonna waste? 
based on this one. Oh my Need to find Nightingale. Okay, the rider went into the lake, banished the dark presence. Taken still lurked in the woods, the dark place receded. The current pulled back those with darkness inside. Into the lake. Nightingale was there, one of them. The dark presence, Jagger, had taken him. The witch had stolen his heart. They sank beneath the waves, the dark place, wandering in the shadows, muttering to themselves. It's dark. I'm lost. Where am I? Who am I? I can't remember. It's cold. Premium cabins for rent in Bright Falls. Who said that? Can you hear me? I need help. Please, stop this. What did I do? You must dig it out! Their shapes shifted, echoes of the writer's dreams, fading in, fading out. The next story and the story after that, the writer was writing again. scheme. Oh, cue those stringed instruments. Left to right. Right. Now, left. He's here, Nightingale. How many bullets? Fourteen bullets of handgun ammo. Two bullets of shotgun ammo. Uh, tempting me to read a page. Right before what appears to be a boss fight. He'd been on the trail of the writer forever. The writer he despised. Hemingway. Bukowski. Wake. I'll get you. I'll find you. I'll make you pay. You're in over your head. He descended into the tunnels, from the dark city, into the ocean of darkness. Next stop, Caldera Street Station. Something, a presence, rumpled. Not a train. Not a train. Shadows shifted on the platform. The writer's cult waited for him there. The cult of the word. Interesting. A cultist leaned close. I carry his words close to my chest now. You're not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. He'd be caught. Murdered. They got him. They didn't get him. He was reborn out of hate. He was there, but he was risen. Sent to find the light switch. Up from the lake that was not the lake. Hmm. So we've got two cults, one of trees, one of words. Who is that? It's like they're coming in over a bad signal. Those the locked doors? Am I walking through those locked areas? Pretty sure I still don't show up on the map. Yeah. Nightingale's badge. Okay. What's this? Shotgun ammo? Or 
first aid kit. Great. like such a claustrophobic feel and nightingale can pop out any one of these sides <laughs> in a station now while on the ground. OMG. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, shoot. What did I put this as? Two? Nope. Four. I'm gonna get hit again. Oh no. How do I get out of this? F. 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 Dodge too early again. <laughs> oh my. Oh, that is. Whew. Okay, shake it out, shake it out. <sighs> Round two. Where's it gonna start me? Alright. Oh, five shots. Okay. <laughs> Teleports, I think I need to count to two before I dodge. One, one, two. Oh. Maybe three. Oh, dodge. What's going on? Two, three. Oh. I think I need to dodge back. Maybe that's my problem. Not sideways, but backwards. I'm going to count that as an exploratory round. Where I was just trying to see what the system was like. Okay, here we go. This is going to be the time. I can feel it. Uh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Really not used to this flashlight thing. Why? There we go.
why does that not work? I am confused. Okay, I aim, I do the thing. safe corner. Maybe less safe. Okay, and the flashlight thing. Why does it... Why can't I get that correct? track of where I where I am in relation to that thing. Okay. That was nine shots. I don't have to do that too many more times. Did I get I did not. No more ammo for that shotgun. Have darkness. Sad for me. Oh. Well, I am back to being screwed. I think. Saga, run! Run! Okay. I'm not enjoying this flashlight mechanic because sometimes it works, other times it really doesn't seem to. Like right there. Oh no! <laughs> Oh. Okay, not loving that control stops your character. Mm mm mm. This is gonna be embarrassing to rewatch later. Embarrassing.
Oh! <laughs> he just came right out there. All right. Really can't tell if he is. He doesn't know here, so. Ooh. I'm only finishing parts of my sentence. I'm stressed. I'm not gonna lie, I'm stressed. Also, not using plurals. I'm only finish, finishing part of my sentences. I should heal. Alright, what else we got? Good amount, good amount of health, full health. stuff. Excellent. I'm gonna sprint anywhere because he will come out of the shadows. To the right or to the left. Trying to use the directional audio, but I don't think that's gonna do it for me. I don't know. Where is he? Sometimes you get it, but also there used to be some kind of cooldown maybe, so you can't just like spam it real fast. Yes! Oh, <laughs> thank you. Say? Who are you? What is this? Who are you? You me. I'm Saga Anderson, FBI. I can hear you. Cauldron Lake. Yes. I'm at Cauldron Lake. Where are you? I to escape. In danger. The dark presence. Thanks. Got it. Hey! Are you okay? No! no. It's my fault! They got out with my face! Scratch! Sir, calm down. I'm gonna need you to take a breath. He's... he's changed the story. The, the dark presence. We must stop it before... Easy now. First things first. What's your name? My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I, I've been... Wake? Where did you come from? You've been missing for 13 years.
Jeez. That boss fight was great. It was, it was great. It was tense. It was difficult. Uh, it seemed a little extra difficult. I still haven't gotten that flashlight mechanic down. So it seems like if you're not spot on with it, then you get a very short flashlight burst and it basically just wastes your entire charge. And then it seemed like there was a cooldown, maybe, while his his animation was still going on. So if I tried to hit the flashlight boost again right away, it didn't have any effect at all. So there were definitely a couple times during those fights where I wasted two charges. And... Sorry about that. Uh, where I wasted two charges, which is kind of frustrating. Um before I could finally get a third one in and somehow, I guess, take the Dark Shield away. So that's going to take a little bit of getting used to for me. I think um, it won't allow for sloppy gameplay, which is, <laughs> to be honest, that's usually how I play games, a little bit sloppily. Um, yeah, that was a... That was a pretty great boss fight. With all the whispers around, and then he would just appear out of nowhere. Mm. I think I might have missed a couple of ammo opportunities, though. I wonder if that's going to come back and bite me later. It probably won't. 